Okay, guys. Okay, welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for coming to Container Crops. I know the, the whole thing is a little off, but I'm going to be showing you guys some things today. <coughs> so I need it to be, <coughs> excuse me, centered around my tabletop as opposed to me. Let me get a little water. I start choking as soon as I got on here. One of the first things I'm going to be showing you guys is how to organize your seeds. I have a nifty way. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you guys how to do it in just a minute. As soon as I can get my throat cleared. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mm. I also need to pull this up on my phone so I can see the chat just a little bit better. Although I can see it pretty good from where I have it angled at. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm choking like that. Mm. And I meant to get a napkin or something because I'm going to probably need it. I'm going to need a napkin or something as I get into the second part of this. But let me pull it up on my phone right quick and in a hurry. <clears throat> let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Oh, come on in, come on in, come on in. Let me see here. Okay. I am going to grab a napkin right quick because I'm going to need to wipe my hands off. I'll turn my volume down here. Or a towel. Just one second, guys. One second. Hey, I am back. Had to grab a towel so when I get ready. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Messing with the dirt when I start my planting. Because I'm going to start seeds inside for the fall. It's August. And time is going by so, so fast. I'm going to show you guys how I use my air cordons to plant my seeds inside. Uh, I don't know if any of you all have seen my last deck check video that I did. My tomato plants, oh my God, they are at least four feet tall now. I started those inside with seed, just like I started these. Hey, Midget, how are you doing? Thank you for coming in. I'm getting ready to do some seed organizing, and I'm going to do it on live. I have a way to organize all my seeds. Thank you for coming in. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yes, <clears throat> trying to get this on live chat. Let me get my seeds here. I have some that are open and some that are not, but it doesn't matter. That's the beauty of the way I do it. And I've also got my index cards here. I think I should have got my smaller set of index cards, but I'm going to show you guys how to use the index cards as well. So I'm just going to grab all my little seeds out here that I have, and I'm doing a giveaway too. So everybody, Midget, I'll tell you that, everybody that's um, in the chat, leave me a comment on this uh, video when it indexes into it or whenever you can leave a comment on it. And I'm going to do a random picker from the comments. So we'll be doing a giveaway. And I know this looks like a lot of seeds, guys, and it is, it is, it is, it is. And just one second, let me grab my smaller index cards because I think I'm going to need those. <clears throat> I think I'm going to need these because they will fit, they will fit a little bit better. I'm doing fantabulous, Midget. I am doing so good, so good. How is your daughter doing? Mm. I gotta grab one more thing, guys. One more thing. Let me grab one more thing. I think I'm gonna be situated in a minute. <laughs> I think I'm going to be situated in a minute. I hope so. I actually just had to turn my fan on that time. 
She's good, doing good, good, good. I don't get to see anybody too much anymore since I'm not live all the time over on um, my other channel. Let me see here. Let me get these open a little bit. Yes, I have this. Uh, this is the way that I am going to be organizing my seeds. And I actually got this uh, away from my couponing. From my couponing. Yes, let me see. One second. Okay. One second. Let me answer this right quick. Trial. Okay, I gotta answer this one thing right quick. Make sure that's the same thing. Okay. So let me get these open right quick, guys. Let me get these open. And turn the volume down. Midget, thank you so much for sharing me out. Thank you so much for sharing me out. Yes, now I'm going to get it pulled back up from here on my phone right quick. Thank you, Minton, for sharing me out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now I should be able to see the chat and everything else. Okay. So I got this open so I can use those. So the first thing, of course, you want to get your seeds organized as according to what they are. I have quite a few cucumbers, so I'm going to kind of stack those all together. Some I've used. And I still have some seeds in there, but that's okay. They're going to all get organized together. And it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if you have them organized by, you know, sets of cucumbers. These are all beans. And so um, I said, you're welcome. Like you could, <laughs> I know, girl, I do that all the time when I'm in different lives. I'll be talking to people like I'm sitting right in front of them I'm, and waiting for a response. But I have found it easier if I organize them by what they are, at least to an extent. Because sometimes you don't have, you have one of this and one of that, and that's fine. So I'm going to do the best I can with putting my lettuces and things like that together, and my peppers, and things like that. Yes, and don't forget to leave me a comment down there so that, um, so that, uh, I can enter you and anybody else. Last time I only had one person that left me a comment. It was plenty of people in there, but one person left me a comment. Yes. Let me see. Okay. Let me organize this a little bit better. These are herbs. These are herbs. All of my lettuces together. Kind of had some of these organized already. And um, it's so helpful. It's so helpful. Tomatoes and tomatoes together. I was so upset. Here is a pack of Grand Bell Pepper Mix Multicolors. You know... This is sealed and there's nothing in it. I bought a pack of seeds with nothing in it. I kept it just because I wanted to show you guys in my organization. I wanted to have as many as possible to show you guys uh, when I got ready to do this organization here. Because I knew I was going to do it live. I have two basils. Let me see. Hey, Green Organic Love. I am showing how to organize all of these seeds that we have. I have a excellent way to keep them organized with notes and everything and I'm getting ready to show you all in just one minute yes I am yes I am and it's real going to be real easy and simple 
easy and simple. How are you doing today, Green Organic Love? Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. Yes, let me see here. Skip that and back. I'm trying to pull it back up on my phone so I can make sure I see my chat there. Okay, I got this watermelon. <laughs> we'll see how that does. All of these are um, spinach. I'm going to put my basil with my herbs. I don't even know what that is. It must be a, a, a lettuce, some kind of lettuce. Some kind of lettuce. My greens, my radishes over here. Let's see here. Spinaches. And this is some deal. Put that together. More lettuces. I got more lettuce than I know what to do with, guys. Okay, I am winding down here. Put all these melons with this. Oh, more cucumbers. You know what? My cucumbers keep doing well. Green organic love. I should have taken your advice and pulled that cucumber when you said when it was nice and ripe and green. But I did not pull it. And it kind of turned yellow. But I went ahead and I pickled it. Uh, it's pickling now. It may be a little bitter and sour. But I figured it might work since it pickles are kind of sour. So I went ahead and pickled it anyway. These are my melons. And I'm, I'm putting these kind of systematically with what they may be or something. These are more peas. I got lots of peas. And this is uh, more lettuce. Okay, so get these few right here done. And then I can show you guys what I'm going to be doing. It's easy, guys. And it's so... I just can't wait to do it so y'all can see. There's more spinach over here. This is spinach over here. Put that over there. Pumpkins. I got pumpkins like I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to put those with that. And strawberries. I'm just going to leave these here. Okay. So, guys. So, guys. So, guys. So, guys. This is what I have. This is... Okay. First of all, this right here. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Let me see. I can't see that name. Zuku Games. Hello, hello, hello. First of all, guys, this right here is a recipe book. But, 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 this is a recipe book, but it's technically a photo album. That's just the type of recipe book it has. These cards in here would typically be for the recipes. But now, disregard this as a recipe book and look at it as a photo album. Disregard because um, it comes loose. So, disregard these recipe cards. And I want you guys to think of them as just regular old index cards. Which my bigger index cards probably would have fit in here better. But just regular old index cards in here. So the index cards are in here so that you can write on here what you need to write on here, when to harvest, how to cultivate, or whatever you might need to do with them, okay? So I'm going to just sit this aside and sit this one back in here for right now because I don't use this book. And guys, on another note, I got this book from the Goodwill, so you don't even have to spend a lot of money on it. But this is what you want to do with the actual seeds, guys, with the actual seeds. Now, I'm going to start with, let me see here, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm going to start with these tomatoes since I have, I have two packs of tomatoes and they are two different varieties. These are just like uh, beef steak and these are cherry tomatoes. So what you want to do is you want to take your photo album and insert the whole pack into here. Just like that, just insert it in here. One on each side, if you have more than one. And you can do it any way you want. You can color code ornaments, you can do it by vegetables or fruit, or however you wish to do it, however you want to do it. But look at that, guys. So there you have them right there. You can turn it so you can use your book this way. And you can know you can get the larger um, photo albums where you have, I think it's more like three in a row or something like that. And behind each one is the note card. So 
So you get to write on there what you need to write on there, whatever your notes may be. You can, when you planted it, what it is. And then, knocking them off over here. And then on the other side here, you can do the same thing. Now, like take this one for example. This is a lettuce. I didn't use all the seeds because I found out that by using containers, I don't use a whole pack of seeds most of the time. See, last year, what I did was I opened a pack of seeds and I just dumped the seeds in different spaces. And I don't use a whole pack because I, I, I read the back and it says one or two seeds or two or three seeds in each one, each little hole. But you know, I didn't pay any attention to that. I thought, what's one little seed going to do? But it's really true. You only need two or three seeds and some of these things have hundreds of seeds in them, 50 seeds in them or more. So I don't use the whole pack. So if I don't use the whole pack, guess what? It goes right in here too. It goes right in here too. It goes right in here too, just like that. And I will write on here where I planted it in my garden. You can even draw a diagram. You can even draw a diagram on your um, card showing you where you have it in your yard or what container it is. You can also take a picture. You know, sometimes pictures are cheap at Walgreens and you can print them out. You can just print them out on your own printer. Put a picture in there. It's so many ways, but then at the end of the day, guys, when you close this up, you can keep it wherever you want to keep it at. You can, I actually have a, I should have brought that in here too. I actually have a large wicker purse. It's really a purse, but it's a large wicker purse. I don't use it. It's red and white. Uh, uh, not red and white, but it's red and wicker color. So I don't really use it, uh, not for going anywhere. So I decided to use it for gardening since it was. So I, when I go outside to my deck, um, it has everything that I might need in it. I mean, except for a bag of soil. I mean, I got my little tools in there. You know, I call things, I can't never remember the real name of them because I'm just too new. But you guys know the miniature shovel and the miniature rake. I got all that in there. I got my scissors in there. I have um, my fertilizer in there. I got my gloves in there. And this book. When I finish putting all these, this book will go in there. So when I go out there, if I need something, it's right there. But this keeps all your seeds in one place at one time. And you don't have to worry about where my seeds are or flumming, you know, flipping through them or anything like this. I just happened to have this book here before I actually wrote my own cookbook. I use these kind of books for my recipes. And so that's why I have it. But it's just sitting there laying dormant. And I was looking at it one day and I said, um, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Make sure you put a piece of tape over the open seed packet. Otherwise, you'll spill it. Good, good one. Good one. That's good. I didn't think of that. Yes. Yes. I don't have any tape here, but you know what? That's perfect, Green Organic. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for that. I need to grab tape. Yes. Yes. I would have never thought about that. Uh, I like the play on words, says Midget. Yes. Lisa! Hey, Lisa! How are you? How are you? Thank you for coming in. I'm looking on my phone so I can see who came in because, you know, I'm, I'm actually streaming from my tablet, so the chat goes in and out. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, Green Organic Love. Thanks for letting me know. Yes, happy Friday. So, guys, I love this. I love this way of organizing. And then again, okay, like these. I honestly, I have all these seeds that I have. Some of these things, I'm not so sure I'll ever plant. So I'm going to start giving them away, guys. That's why I'm having a giveaway. Everybody here, leave me a comment because I'm going to have a giveaway. It will be some seeds, but I'll have a giveaway uh, next week from this live. And I'll just, anybody that leaves me a comment, I'll put them in my little random picker. But just like these, these are um, royalty purple beans and royalty burgundy beans or something like that. And so they're very similar. I mean, 
I'm not even sure. They may be the same bean, just by different makers. That's what I think they are. So these two, they're going to go in one of these slots together. They're going to go in one of the slots together. So if you have uh, multiple packs of the same variety, and see, these are fat. I don't know if you guys can see that. But these are a little bit fatter than the other ones, but they still will fit in here together. And because my seeds were still in the shopping bag, they were still in the grocery bag. And every time I got ready to go outside or I needed to plant something because, um, and oh, that's another thing, guys. Uh, green organic, love, remember I planted that uh, lettuce, not lettuce, the, um, hey, how are you, how are you, how are you? Penelope? I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right or not, but hello, hello, still working at it. Oh my goodness, yes, 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 yes. Um, that celery I planted, and remember it started coming up really, really well, and then I went out there and it was gone. If you look on my community post, there is an army worm posted on there. I was asking anybody that they knew of what to do to get rid of it. I've done a lot of research. I posted it all over Facebook, and I've gotten quite a few answers about it. It's eating up my entire garden. It ate, it ate the entire, hello, Ola Joe, how are you, how are you? Ola Joe, you coming in? I'm going to show you what I was doing. I am showing you guys how I'm organizing my seeds. This is actually a recipe book, Ola Joe, but it's in the form of a photo album. So you can use a photo album. This is just something I had laying around in my house that I was getting ready to get rid of, and I thought, you know what, I could do my seeds. So what I'm actually doing is I'm putting them in the slots where you would normally put a photo. And behind each one is a note card. And so with the note card, I will be writing any information I need, when I plant it, what it is, where it is in the garden, when to harvest, and all that good stuff. And it's all in one, all in one spot, one book. Grab and go, grab and go. So I've got all these seeds to um, to put in here. And like I said, if you have multiple varieties of one kind, you can put all those back to back together. Like I've got these. And Green Organic Love just told me, she told me something that she's so right to put a piece of the ones like these. These are my, um, like green onions. Um, scallions, green onions, both of these are open, and she was telling me I need to put some tape over them because otherwise when I get ready to get them, they get spilled, and she's right. She's so right about that, and I had not thought about that, so I am. I'm going to be putting tape on all of those, and that's another thing. You can use the backs and the fronts of these. So, just like here, I have the tomatoes here, but then when you flip them over, I just put my green onions on the back side. So that's what I'm doing for organizing my, my seeds going forward. And I thought I would share that with everybody because it's a good way to do it because I had all my seeds in a grocery bag. I mean, the grocery bag is just, just down there. And so I was like, every time I got ready for some, to look to say, oh, what do I want to plant? What do I need to plant? or where is the envelope for me to read about what I planted? I was dumping them out, just like what you see now, and thumbing through them. I said, there's got to be a better way. And see, at one point in time in my life, I was an extreme coupon. I still like coupons, but I just haven't been doing it as much. So I need to get back to that. But this is the way we did You've seen people, I'm pretty sure, in the grocery store with the photo albums and they have their coupons in there. So that's where the idea came from. I used to do this when I was an extreme coupon because, I mean, I would go in the grocery store and have a whole cart full of groceries and i come out paying a dollar something just in taxes. Yes, just in taxes alone. So that was always a plus. So that is how... I'm going to be doing that. And now next, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys 
how I planted my, started my seeds. My tomatoes are doing really good. I do need to get that 511 and I need to make sure that this worm thing doesn't get over into those. I use these for my coupons. Yes, me too. That's where I got it from. I use those for my coupons. Yes, exactly. And that's what made me say, you know what? That's also a good idea for these packs of seeds. These packs of seeds. And my um, tomato plants are probably about four, um, four to maybe almost five feet tall now. They hated to see me. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, you had so many coupons. And I stopped because I just didn't have, it's, you know, everything can be time consuming. And once my kids kind of grew up and my food budget went down, <laughs> I was like, this is too much. I found myself going there and buying so many things that we weren't consuming fast enough. So I kind of put that on the back burner. I still like it though. I like it, but now what I do is uh, every the stores here have double coupon days and triple coupon days and when they have those double and triple coupon days there is so many things that really do equate to free I mean really do equate to free or you know it's like you just you pay nothing including tax because sometimes it runs over and I'll go in and get a few of those things items but I don't do it to the extent that I used to and I'm getting ready to put these back in my grocery bag until later See, this is where they were. This is this is where they were earlier, right here in this grocery bag. And I said, this is ridiculous. I need to get this organized. And I am so glad you mentioned about that tape on the back of them. Now, it's August here, and I know every place is different. Everybody's not necessarily getting ready for fall planting. But I did look up some information on that for my zone, which I'm in zone 7B. And I did look up and it said in there, there are certain things which I'm going to have to go right back. See, I'm going to have to dig right back in here in a minute. So let me do that now. There uh, are certain things that are... Thank you, Ola Joe. Thank you. There are certain things that were cool weather. And they said to start planting them indoors now for a fall crop to do that in August. And some of those things were lettuce and spinach. So I'm going to uh, grab that and radishes. I'm going to grab those. And I'm going to show you what I did um, for my tomatoes. They did really, really well. Um, I know I had, a, I definitely want to do a, a pack of those. These are the, uh, I love these. This is the lettuce that's mixed. Um, it's mixed. It has the purples and the greens. Um, it just says sweet salad mix on here, but I love lettuces like this with all those colors in it. So I'm going to definitely do that one. I'm interested in this. This is a giant Caesar. So I'm really, really interested in that. Um, but most of these are cool weather. Let me see if this is cool weather too. Um, now see, it doesn't say on here. Yes, late summer for fall crop. Late summer for fall crop. And that's what I'm trying to do because I know some things that I have out there now will be harvested. And I don't I want to go as long as I can go, especially since we have mild winters here. Especially since we have mild winters here. And I want to find, let me see, I'm going to try my radishes I think already. That's the biggest problem I'm having, guys. The biggest problem that I am having right now is learning when to harvest. Um, I got to learn really, really when to harvest because sometimes I look at things and I'm like, oh, it's not ready. But I think my radishes are ready to come up. So I'm going to probably harvest them this weekend or early next week because they're coming. You know, they're, they are a root, a root vegetable. So they're growing underground, but they're coming up out of the ground where I can see the red part. But they seem small. And I said, well, you know what? It may be a variety that's not big, that's not going to get big. Yes. Sebastian. All right. So um, there may be a variety that's not going to be big. So I think I need, I think I kind of learned my lesson from that cucumber. 
Uh, I have pickled it. It's pickled. It's in the refrigerator. What I did was I just cleaned it up real good, washed it up real good, sliced it, and Ola Joe uh, suggested to me to keep the pickle juice from my regular pickles. So I did that. It looks like it looks like the grocery store when you choose it, it's ready. Oh, that's a good one, Green Organic Love. <laughs> I would have never thought of that. That is amazing. I would have never thought of that. I would have never thought of that. If I if I buy it out the grocery store, that's the way it looks. It's ready. Okay, that's good. Well, I think these are. You know how when you buy rad radishes and they still the ones that have the leaves on them and things. You know, when you buy those and you get some that are big and then you get some that are small. So these are just kind of small, but I do believe they're ready. So I don't want to take another chance on leaving them out there. So once I harvest those, then I will want to plant some more. So I'm going to start these indoors too. I'm going to start these indoors too. Um, and I'm looking, for my, I'm looking for my spinach that I had. Because it definitely is a cool weather. I learned that last year. Planted some, it never grew. And then I started reading more. And I really have to learn to listen. And you know what? I had the hardest time with this when GPSs uh, became real popular and everybody started using their GPS to go places. I'm that person that would follow the GPS to a point and then it would tell me to turn left. And I'm saying, no, I don't think I should turn up here. I should go straight. I should go straight. And I keep going straight. That's, I'm that person. And now that I listen to the GPS, I get everywhere I'm going when I need to be there. So I have to do that with gardening. I have to listen and I have to read. And as long as I do what it says to do, I will be fine. But I'm going to pick up some of that, um, I'm going to pick up the 511. Uh, the next time I go out this weekend, probably. Okay, kale. This is the kale I wanted to do. So I'm going to start with that right there for now. And um, I'm going to fit, fill up my book later. But guys, I want to show you what I did for my tomatoes. It worked perfectly. As you can see, I use grocery bags a lot. Hello, how to garden. Thank you for coming in. So glad to see you. Thank you for being here. These guys. Okay, there's my box. These guys are regular old egg cartons. That's all they are. Nothing fancy. They're egg cartons. This is an egg card. This is the kind that was in the store and it had like, um, when you closed it up, it had like a brown covering over the top or some kind of covering over the top. So what I did was these, now I don't know, this, these, this may not apply to everybody, but these fit perfectly in my windowsill. Perfectly in my windowsill on the inside of my house where I can put them in my windowsill and they'll get plenty of light. So what I do or what I did, I took this and I cut it in half, which that's what I'm going to do right now. Just take it and cut you cutting the top from the bottom. So you just cut right down the middle here. plant in one half of them. In the half that you plant, I'm going to put one hole in the bottom of each one, just one hole in the bottom. And then I'm going to use the other half as the drain cup. So I don't have to find anything uh, to put in there, anything. All right, Old Joe, have a good night. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I am going to, you don't have to find something to put under there, a saucer, or to take it somewhere when you water. You just sit it in here the right way. 
and lead it. Or this is one of the Okay, this is the way. They only fit in there a certain way. So you have to make sure you, you get the right one to put the holes in. So this is the one that the holes will go in and it sits perfectly in the other one. And when you water, it'll catch it. Now, these, the only downside in this is, this is very, very shallow, very shallow. So even though I'm just putting in, I put three seeds with the tomatoes, I put three little seeds in each one from whatever variety it was. The only different, the only downside to using this is that because it is shallow, you're only going to get about a tablespoon, of, maybe about a tablespoon of dirt in here. So that means, number one, it's going to dry out faster than normal. So you're going to have to keep an eye on it. You're going to have to water it probably more often than you normally would. But when you water it, I only put two caps. I took the top of my water bottle and I took an old water bottle and I filled it up with water. Not when they had lipstick all over it, but <laughs> I filled it up with water and I would put two caps of water in each one. So that's how I measured it. And I found myself doing that about every day to every other day. I just, of course I looked at them every day. If they were dry, I just watered them. But I watered them with some little amount of water. But they did very well. My tomatoes, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting the flowers now, but they are growing very tall. They look very healthy. And I forgot to get a little cup or something, but I'm going to sit this down here. And I'm going to show you how I put the hole in there. Make sure I get the right one. Okay, it's this one. This one. So, I believe in using things that you have around your house and not necessarily buying a lot of things. That being said, this is what I use to poke the hole through. Now, if you have a tool, I don't have tons of tools, but they're my husband's tools, and he's not as organized as I am. So that means I gotta run it through a bag for a screwdriver or anything else. So I choose not to do that. Tools is on my Christmas list. I want my own set of tools with a drill and everything else. They're now on my Christmas list. But I took this, and what this is, this is a uh, part of a nutcracker set that I actually got at the dollar store. Had it for years, but I rarely buy nuts that I actually have to crack these days. I just buy the nuts and eat them. But that's what this is. It's that part of the nutcrackers where you would dig the nut out of it. They come at the dollar store. So again, I believe in not doing anything that is too expensive. So what I did was, because this is plastic, I found it was a little bit easier if I heated it up. So we're going to see if that's going to work again tonight because that's what I did before. I just took it and I heated the end of it up really well. And then I poked the hole through the bottom. Let's see if that's going to work tonight. Let's see here. It looks like some, I'm going to have to go back and forth on this a little bit. But we'll get it. I'm going to show you guys one or two because I actually have one set over here that I use them for. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's coming through. There it is. See? There it is. There's the hole. And that's all you need. Just need the one hole. The one hole. So I'm not going to do all of these tonight because I actually have one over here that's completed. But that's all you do. Poke one hole in each one of those. You need a hole in each one. That way, you'll get good drainage, and you have to still have that good drainage. So this is the ones I use for my tomatoes, and I cleaned them out because I knew I was going to reuse them again. So what we're going to do is, let's see here. I actually could use a spoon or something, an old spoon or something. I didn't bring anything in here with me. Let me see what if I have something in my drawer I can use. Mm -hmm. To kind of mm -hmm. just scoop that dirt out a little bit. I don't have anything up here but my scissors. I might need to run and get something. Mm -hmm. So let me run and get a spoon right quick, guys, so that I won't make a big mess. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.
guys. I am back. Thanks for hanging in there and waiting on me. Got me some more water. Got a little spoon so I won't make a huge mess. And so what I did was, I just put a spoonful in each one that had the hole in it. Now, before I put the dirt in there, I still sit it in here because sometimes you just get the little crumbs that will uh, sit through that little hole. So I still sit the top in here like this. And when I sit it in the windowsill, I sit it in like this. And I found, with the tomatoes at least, I found that, let's just say this is the window and this is the window seal. I sat it here and I had to turn it around every day because plants are attracted to the sun. The sun was over here, so they would lean over that way. So what you want to do is turn it around every day so that what that forces them to do is they'll be leaning this way, they'll go back that way. That will force your plants to grow straight. So if you have small plants like this in the window seal, turn them around every day or at least Anytime you see them leaning towards the sun, turn it around. And that'll force them to lean back the other way and they will grow straight up and up and down. Now that little trick I knew from growing up, that's what we used to do. We had house plants on the inside to make sure that they grew straight and tall. We just um, we just made sure that we turned them every day towards the sun. Or at that point it's more rotating them towards the sun every single day. Yes. Hello, Stinky Puddle Ranch. How are you? How are you? I was showing earlier uh, how to organize seeds. I have a book over here. I was showing everybody how to organize the seeds. And now I'm getting ready to plant these in this egg carton. I have holes in the bottom here. Where's my book at? I'll just show you right quick. This is the book that I was using and I'm putting my seeds in it. It's like a photo album where you can keep your seeds in them and you can keep an index card right behind each one to write any information on there that you need about your seeds. Your seeds will be in all in one place and you'll have them. And you won't have to go scouring, you can throw them through them. And it's also good sometimes when you don't have anything to do and you're relaxing. I've actually gotten my seeds out and just read over them again and kind of study them and learn a little bit more about them and how they can grow. And this book provides a good way to do that because you can sit there, turn the TV off, get your book out, and look at your seeds and read about them. And if you come across something that's interesting or you think you need to know, write it on the index card. You can even draw a diagram. If you mess up, get another index card. And as your packets, you know, you use up your package and you're through with that, throw it away and start again. So that's the way I'm organizing my seeds going forward. And right now, it's August. So I'm going to start these seeds indoor for a fall planting, um, zone 7B. So since it's zone 7B, it may not get um, cold quick. So we're going to have some, uh, I'm loving that art. Thank you. Thank you, Stinky Bottle. Thank you so much. Yes, because you know what? Before that, all my seeds were in a grocery bag. And technically they still are right now because I haven't put them all in the book. But I, <laughs> that's my project that I'm working on right now. But I had to keep leaving them out of the book to show you guys what to do with them. But yes, I, because I, I find myself bumming through them more. You know, when you, you harvest something and it's time for you to plant something else, you're thinking, okay, what do I want to plant? You can sit down with your book and do it. So in these, now I'm using a, a spoon. This is just like a regular spoon, tablespoon. And so I'm going to see how many of these do I need to put in each hole. I think about just about one and a half, it looks like, is going to actually fit in each of these holes. Yes, about one and a half. Yes. Mix Picks. Hello, hello. How you doing, Mix Picks? Yes, I've been stealing every. That's why I'm telling you, you won't be stealing it. I'm giving it to you. Yes. And these are just simple egg, or egg cartons. I just showed how I did it in this one. I actually cut the top off of it cut it in half, and they only fit a certain way, so only one side will fit on the top. The top, this, the one that goes on top, poke one hole in each one, and I'm using that to start planting my seeds indoors for fall. See, I don't believe in going out buying a whole lot of stuff. I believe in figuring out to use what you have. Recycle, upcycle, all that good stuff. Recycle, upcycle, that's what you need to do. Yes, recycle and upcycle. That's important. 
You have to use what you have instead of going out. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So we're going to fill these up. And I will be putting in, I'm going to do, this is kale. Kale, radishes. Uh, let's see here. This is a salad mix. And this is a giant Caesar. And so since I have four packets, I will put use three holes, three of these little holes for each pack, and I'll put three seeds in each one, just in this one thing. So I have four things just in this one, just in this one. And let me see here. Let me see this, this container. Just say I brought the dirty and I had all this dirt in it. I wasn't gonna bring the whole bag of dirt inside my house at my desk. So I gotta put some in some containers. And I didn't need this much, but just in case. Just in case, guys. Just in case. So have any of you all started planting indoors yet for the fall? Any started any seeds inside yet for the fall? And this is an organic potting soil that I'm using. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. This is an organic potting soil that I'm using. Yes, Nick Picks says, I know that your hubby is going crazy with it. He don't know. <laughs> he ain't seen it. <laughs> but you're right, Nick Picks. If I can get in and get out and go home before it happens. <laughs> Nick Pick hit the nail on the head. Yes, girl. Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Why do you think I have them little containers and not the whole bag? <laughs> if they don't find out, I'm not going to be the one to tell them. Yes. <laughs> this big, that's funny. But this is my office, though, so can't say too much. I have it in my, in my part of the house only. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Green Organic says, I am in paid partnership with a grow light company, so I'll be growing indoors for some... Ooh, girl, go ahead. I wish I was in a paid partnership with somebody. Girl, you go. That's awesome. Woohoo! Yes. So you get to do some good growing inside then. Some serious growing inside. I'm not trying to grow inside. I'm just trying to get my stuff started. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it started. So I have a little seedlings to put outside. That's it. But that should be awesome. I can't wait to see those videos, Green Organic. Girl, you be on the move. Green Organic, love you on the move. Yes. Yes, indeed. We'll see. I'm not sure. I'm feeling. I know. <laughs> I know how you feel about that. But think of it like this. If you have house plants, you have dirt inside. Yes. Okay. So this is filled, as you can see. That's all it took. It didn't take a lot. Now I'm going to put a couple of seeds in each one. Make it a little well, right in the center of each one. Planting those seeds inside, those seeds, those tomato seeds I had, planting those seeds inside was the most successful thing I've done with gardening so far. That's the most successful thing. I don't have no house. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Except for these. <laughs> oh my God. I had those avocados in here for a while. I have a house full, says Midget. Midget says she has a house full. I have none. None. 
But I hear that certain ones are good for allergies and dust and keeping things clean in your house. And I don't know about that. Okay. Oh, and that's another thing I learned. That I don't have to plant the seeds all the way down to the bottom of the containers. <laughs> Y'all should see me. I'm a hot mess. I am a hot mess. And let's see. This says... Let's see. Let's see. So, otherwise, it goes on the ground. We work. Place one seed every four inches. It says one seed. So, it says, says no. Nope. There are. Yes, I heard that. It has to be hydroponic if it's in my. <laughs> I hear you. So, see, this says one seed, guys. But I was always told to put at least two seeds in because if one doesn't take, maybe the other one would. So, I'm going to put two seeds in each one of these holes, or three of them. And I need my, that's what I didn't bring in here. So, therefore, I will use an index card to draw on here so that I will know where I'm putting what because I did not bring my... Um, popsicle sticks that I write on in there. So, it's two in there. Two in there. Come on. And two in that one. I had to learn that if it said put two in there, put two in there. If it says one, put one in there. So I've got two in there. And it's like a pack of seeds will last me all my life. Because I'm not planting, I'm not planting in the ground like that. So I'm not planting a ton of it. Okay. So before I go any further, I better write down what I am putting where on my little index card so that I can transfer it. Um, I can transfer it. And this is kale. See y'all, I drew little circles and everything. <laughs> My little diagram. My little diagram. And next to it will be the radishes. And now how many am I supposed to put in here? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Not the same. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. So. This is going to be amazing. Let me see here. Let me see. Okay. I think I pulled, poured out almost what exactly what I need. Believe it or not, I did. Two in there. Two in there, and two in there. Okay, now let's see what's next on the list here. What we're going to put in here next. Okay, and then the front row will be my, my lettuces. This will be the giant Caesar. And this will be the sweet salad mix. And then what I'll do is when I get my popsicle sticks, I will write on each one and stick it in there. At least I'll have my diagram. At least I'll have my diagram. I just have to remember, remember where I put it. Remember where I put each one. Okay. Let me see what this says. Okay, everything's about the same, everything's about the same. Yes, awesome and amazing, awesome and amazing. Uh oh, let me see here, some something. Something was on my phone. I had to see what that was. Let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
one second. Let me respond to this right quick. There you go. All right. Now, let's see here. Oh, these are those real fine ones. Okay, wait a minute now. Oh, these are different kind of seeds. I've never seen seeds like these before. I wish you guys could see these. I don't know if you can see these or not. If I, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Can y'all see that? Let's see. Can y'all see that? These look like little feathers almost, a little something. They look weird. But okay. I'm just going to put a few in each one. I've learned my lesson on that. And we'll see what happens. I have a lot of these left over. Oh my God, did you guys see those? There's like a thousand in here. But you know what? I don't have a big harvest, and I guess that's because, uh... Oh, hey, Mama Ray Ray. Mama Ray Ray's in the house. I don't have... Let me see. I don't see Mama Ray Ray. Oh, I'm on top chat. I need to be on live chat myself. And those are different. They are different looking. I've never seen any seeds, but I guess it's a lot of different kinds. I've never seen any seeds like that before. I can see Mama Ray Ray come in, but if she's in here, hello, Mama Ray Ray, how are you? Oh, Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen. Ooh, girl, that's a long name. You go, girl. Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen. Okay, let's see what this says. This is that sweet mixed salad greens. Let's see. Okay. I really want this one to come up. I really want this one to come up. I like these different colors of lettuces mm -hmm. and things like that. It says sweet salad mix. Sweet. And do you guys know, I got all of these, all those packets of seeds you saw. I got about $70 or $80 worth of seeds for like $15. They were all $0.50 cent a pack. They went on sale at $0.50 cent a pack and the store got upset with me. Because they was like, they couldn't be. Because someone was bringing up $2.90 something, $3.90 something, a dollar something. I was like, the sign is back there, go look. And I, I got as many as I could get that day because I didn't plan on buying. That's not what I went to the store for. So I didn't have a pile of money with me going to the store. <laughs> but when, they, when I saw the sign, I'm like, oh, I'm getting some seeds. So I got plenty of seeds. Plenty. Yes. I did, I did, I did. Amazing. Oh, so I will have seeds for a while, guys, it looks like. Let me see what these are. Oh, these are funny looking, too. I guess this maybe has something to do with it being less. This looks like half rock and half seed is in here. Some of it is big and some of it is small. Let me see if I can show you guys these. Let's see. Can y'all see that? Let's see. See that? These look strange too. These look strange too. But okay, I'll work with it. I will work with it. The seed shop. Yes, the seed shopping is free. That's why I have some things that I probably like, uh, am I going to use this? These are, I don't know how to plant these, but I'm just going to put a few in each one. And we'll see what happens. The good thing about it is that because you only have to put a few in one, if it doesn't work, you can do it again because you still have plenty. You still have plenty. And if I could, you know, I, I'm only planting, um, that's another thing that, I, oh, Mama Ray Ray, I didn't see, show you how I'm organizing my seeds in my book, but I'll show you that in a minute. I, uh, if you're still in the house, 
Yeah, she's still in the house. Let me go ahead and show it to you now. I am uh, using a photo album. This is actually a recipe book, but I'm using a photo album book to organize my seeds by putting in here and putting the index cards in there, behind there. So this is the organization. I did the whole thing early. I had all my seeds out here and stuff. But um, So now I'm just going to cover them up, and I will water them later once I put them in place in my windowsill. I have to leave my blind up just a little bit, um, but other than that, it fits right in my windowsill. Right in my windowsill, guys. Yes. Okay, and those are planted. I don't know why they have so many, I guess you need all the organic matters and things that are in the soil. But I always wonder why so many sticks, and is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is that do they use that for a filler to give you to not give you enough dirt or enough soil? Miss Fix says I made cast iron skillet pizzas for dinner. Gonna run it. All right, Miss Fix, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yes, enjoy that pizza and save me some or send me some. <laughs> yes. Awesome, 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 guys. So this is how I start my seeds inside. And so I have started kale. I have started radish. I have started sweet salad mix. And I have started giant Caesar. And that's what all of this is. And I'll be putting it in my windowsill. Like I said, I won't water it until I actually get it in place where I want it to be. And... Uh, which is in my window seal. And then we'll see. I'll put the popsicle sticks in here tomorrow. I'll keep it facing in the right direction so that I will know where everything is. And then after I, uh, I'm trying to get, I'm trying not to get so many sticks because since it's so shallow, I want to have as much soil as I can. And I know the sticks provide whatever matter or whatever nutrients that are in them, but. I want just the soil. There you go. As much of it as I can get at least. And yes, guys. So anybody else has started planting anything for the fall yet? This is going to be my first plantings for the fall so I can have a fall crop. I am definitely after a fall crop. And um, did anybody see my community post? And can anybody tell me if there is any? I've gotten a lot of responses, but they've all had to do with some kind of pesticides as far as the army worm. I got an invasion of army worm. They have literally eaten all of my bell peppers. They ate all of my hot peppers. They ate all of my celery. I don't know if you all saw my last deck check video. My celery was growing good. I went out there one day and it was gone. I mean, there was a hole in the ground. And I saw no evidence of anything but what looked like a black worm near it. I took that worm out, and I wondered at that point, was it? Now, that same kind of worm has now eaten half of my basil, all of my bell peppers, all of my hot peppers. And it was in my kale yesterday, but not today. Uh, it was trying to eat. I planted a purple onion. I took the purple onion and the part, I just stuck it in the ground just like I did the celery. And it was right there by that purple onion. I saw it. I got it out of there. So um, somebody told me to take some a little bit of dish soap and a good size amount of water and just spray around in there until I get out and get this, uh, I can't even think of what you call it. I think it was called BT was the short form name of it, but it's still a chemical. I'm trying to find out, is there something I can use that's on all natural, like household product, baking soda, peroxide, Epsom salt, cayenne pepper, coffee grounds, eggshells. These are things that I have used in the past for other things, and I'm trying to find out if there's anything like that at all 
that I can use. I would rather use something more natural. Although everyone's telling me that BT is natural, but I can't pronounce it. And so that bothers me. I mean, I, I, I probably can agree with them that it won't hurt the plants and it's all natural for them. But um, I'm looking for something a little bit more um, household type item. You know, if it's something that you eat or you use in your home or you use around your food or you use around your kids, then it's not harmful because, you know, everybody's saying, you know, don't overdo it with this. Okay, well, if, I know you can overdo it with anything. Um, but I'm, I'm struggling to find out that. And I've got this, I want to show you guys this. Let me put this dirt back down here right quick in this box. Take it back outside when the time comes. Clean up this little mess right quick a little bit. I can't stand a hot mess, guys. I cannot stand a hot mess. This is an edge. Okay. I don't know if any of you all are growing anything in containers at all, but I was gifted this book by my daughter, and it is one of the best books I have ever run across. If you guys can find this book or can get this book, oh my God, it has everything in it. This is my first go-to thing. You know, it just doesn't talk about the bugs and insects too much, but the name of it is Grow All You Can Eat in Three Square Feet. It is for container gardening. So I don't know if you guys, any of you all are growing anything in pots or at least not as much as I am, but it tells you if this book has every resource in it you could possibly imagine from the types of uh, different gardens and beds that you can put up to all kind of pots, plants, when to plant it, when to harvest it, how, what to do in between, the watering. It tells you everything, spring, summer, winter, and fall. And one of my goals, guys, one of my goals is to be able to grow year round. I need to find, I'm on, I'm on the research mode now of trying to investigate and research um, vegetables that grow in my zone in the winter. In the winter. What is something that's going to, that either I can plant now and it'll harvest or I can plant right at the beginning of winter and it'll harvest because if you can grow year round you will always have something you know uh, and I know that's the part of seed time and harvest time I mean that's even in the Bible you know you plant you have your seeds you plant and you harvest and then you 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 have what you need to go through the winter to make it through the winter and that's where canning comes in at and pickling comes in at and I hope to be able to grow enough to do that but I don't know that I will be growing enough to actually can a lot of stuff, but, 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 because I don't have a, a huge family to uh, feed anymore, so my children are grown and gone pretty much, that I may. So just the small amount that I grow may still be too much for us to consume, you know, in one season. So I still may find myself canning things, but on a smaller level where some people are canning things and it's stored up for life. Almost, I might be able to can things in very smaller quantities, you know, a half a dozen or something. Might make me through the whole winter, depending on what it is. So, I'm going to, but I heard canning stuff is hard to come by right now. I heard that everybody is sold out because everybody's trying to buy. And I guess it's because, you know, uh, COVID and everything, that people are growing more. People are trying to learn how to grow things and how to preserve and how to have things through the winter. Um, but I want to see what, I, I, I just got a feeling that there are some things that you can still grow, especially because I'm not in a climate that gets that harsh winter. And since I'm not in a climate that gets that harsh winter, I should be able to, uh, I should be able to grow something through the winter. Any of you guys know anything that grows through the winter like that? Let me know. I'm not sure. I am not sure, but this book has helped me. I have another book in there, but it is not like this book. It is just not like it, and I can't 
I can't, um, um, I can't be thankful enough for this because I am growing in small spaces. My next thing I want to do is to learn how to grow things in, um, different containers, so to speak. Like, I know they have the grow bags, but like wicker, I want to know how to preserve, find a beautiful wicker basket and learn how to preserve it and use it for for growing in without just necessarily sitting another pot inside of it. You know, I can easily do that. I can buy a regular pot just sitting inside of it. But I really want to learn how to use these things and other things because you can find some really good odd things at like the Goodwill and stuff like that. You can find beautiful pots, beautiful odd things that you can grow in. Yes, for the winter month, are you going to grow anything on the inside? I just uh, planted this right here to start it on the inside. Um, I'm going to plant it outside for a fall when it should start producing in the next two or three weeks. So by, say, by the first or second week in September, I should start seeing seedlings probably closer to mid-September. I should be able to put it in the ground, if not sooner. And then after that, I should be harvesting it sometime in late October. That's my plan for these three things, these um, four things that I planted. But actually growing something inside, no, but I am trying to find out what, because this is called a late summer planting. So now I need to figure out what can I grow in late fall that will grow in the winter that needs the cold, you know, that, that is cold tolerant. Um, so I'm going to be checking, I'm going to be checking on all those things because that's something I'm really interested in. Just like I'm really super, I was so upset when that worm ate my lettuce, not lettuce, celery, because that was the first thing I took. And I got that from Green Organic. I watched her do it. Um, that was the first thing that I actually went to the store. I bought the celery stalk. I cut the bottom off and I went outside and stuck it in the ground and it started growing like within a couple of days. It was doing fine. The leaves were dark and rich. It was growing well. And lo and behold, I went out there one day and there was a hole in the spot. I could have sworn something dug it up. But deep down in there, I could see the very bottom of the core. And I thought something came along and dug it up. But the thing that had disturbed me the most was I had garlic planted around it. My tomatoes planted around it. I had some ginger planted around it. Nothing else was touched but that celery, nothing. There was no sign of anything else being touched but that celery. So I knew whatever ate it was after the celery, but I had no idea. Cause that is, uh, that those army worms, they're some sort of, um, they are some sort of, uh, I wanna say butterfly or moth type thing. Um, so I don't know. I don't know, there's some kind of butterfly or moth uh, type uh, thing, but they are really, really, every, I put it all over the Facebook groups that I am in for gardening, and everybody, oh my God, everybody came back, and some people were talking about how horrible they were, and if you don't get them early, they can just ruin a whole crop, and they come in droves. Now, I've only seen one here and one there, but the ones I have seen, Oh my goodness, they're eating up everything. These little black, they're, and if you go on my community post, you'll take a look at it. It's a black worm with yellow stripe down its back. A couple of yellow stripes down its back. And it is literally, I mean, my peppers were growing good. Everything was growing good. Oh, my basil was beautiful. My basil was full and fluffy. And I had it planted, even though it was in a container, I planted in rows. I had two rows of basil going sideways, and it was coming up beautiful. And now I have one, one thing of basil, and I'm hoping it doesn't get to that. The rest of my basil is gone. I don't know if it's going to come back up or not. Now, I did read some things that uh, uh, some of these same things got to, no, I didn't read. I was on YouTube. You know, I was looking at a video and the guy had said that he got to his kale. And he was saying when it gets to something like kale, just pull off all those bottom leaves and it'll keep growing, it'll keep flourishing and treat it so that they won't go away. 
But these were just getting started. All these were babies, so I don't have any leaves to pull out. They have eaten them. They have devoured them. I have uh, posted pictures of them on uh, Facebook as well. Let me see if I can pull a picture up on here to show you this little creature thing. I mean, I was just amazed. Oh yeah, here's one, let me see. Let's see if you guys can see this. See? And it's right there by my purple, purple onion. That's what it looks like. And let's see. See if I can find. See that? Can you see that? See how skimpy those look and, and everything? This is the way it looked before. This is it. This is what the base. Let me see. Did I take that picture sideways or what? Okay. Trying to get a good shot. That's the way the basil looked firsthand. And then and that's the way it looked after they the little worm ate it up. So I was distraught. I was distraught. Let me get back over here to my chat about that. It just is devouring everything. So my basil was looking good. It was looking good. So yes, indeed, yes, indeed. So those are um, those are the things. And I had one more thing. Oh my goodness, I had uh, my other thing that I was going to put out there on my gate as well. Let me put these up aside and keep that here. And I'm going to put these all together too, and put these back in my bag. So I put these so I know I have these together because these are the ones I just planted. And I need to find out does anyone know how to? Um, oh, where are they at? I need to know how to clean brass without a special brass cleaner. I need to know how to clean brass without a special brass cleaner, guys. Anybody have any idea? Let me know. Let me know, let me know. We are going to have a long summer this year, watch. I believe so, but you know what? Uh, Mama Ray Ray, we don't have harsh winters here anyway. It's, it's nothing, nothing for us to wear shorts at Christmas time. Nothing. We don't get those kind of winters like you all do. We don't get those kind of winters at all. We don't get snow like that. We might have an ice storm, and with the ice storm, it'll last maybe a day, maybe, maximum two days. But typically, it's gone by noon or one in the afternoon. Yes, it's gone by noon or one in the afternoon. We don't have those harsh winters like you do any, at any rate. You know, it might get a little cool down here, but I don't, I can't remember when it's been like uh, in the teens. You know, it's cold here when it gets down to like 30 or 31. I got a splinter in my head or something. It, it's cold when it gets down to like 30 and 32 here. That's considered really cold. Wow. I, I get something in my hand. Yes. I wasn't digging in the dirt. So. But we might, we really might, we really might. We really, we really might have a uh, long uh, summer. And that's okay, but the weather is the weather is so messed up and everything. I have this rope, I have to re, re, redo a bell that I have. And I need, it's a brass bell, I need to clean the bell first. And then I need to uh, re-rope the handles of it. Michigan, it can get very cold here. Yes, and I don't know how you do that, Mama Ray Ray. I, and I understand the real cold because I'm from the back of Nebraska, but so I really get it. But at this age, I'm glad not to. I'm glad not to be by it anymore. I don't. I, don't, I can do without that now. I can do without that. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I'm gonna see if this is gonna be an easy something to transfer. I wonder. 
I need, I'm, I might want to clean my bell before I put my new ropes on it. I might want to clean it first before I put my new ropes on it. Oh, this is a big rope. This is one rope? Oh my gosh. I don't need this big of a rope. I guess I'm going to have to cut it. Oh my goodness. I can jump rope with this, y'all. I can jump rope with this. Yes. Are you in Hawaii? Oh, okay. Yes, I can jump rope with this. Oh my goodness, I'm going to end up cutting this, guys. I did not know this rope was this long. This is a cord. What kind of rope is this? Decorative rope. Okay. Let's see. Let me measure this up here. These are my bells. And see this rope on here? I'm going to replace this rope. This is what I'm replacing. Yes, this is what I'm replacing. Stinky says, I'm in zone 7B. Me too. Me too. I'm going to replace that with this rope. Because this, this, this rope has seen its day. It has seen its day. But I kind of think I need to clean my bells first. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Get this off of here. Yes. So, how do I'm supposed to clean these bells, people? Michigan is in zone 7 B. No, no, that's Michigan. Is it? No, no, that's North Carolina. I'm in zone 7 B, so it's got to be the Carolinas or somewhere near here. Or somewhere near here. one end of it. I love my little bit. I hang these on my door. I hang these on not my front door. <laughs> I, I hang these on my door. Like when my grandbaby is here, I put it on my bedroom door. So she get up in the night and try to get out. I hear her. She can't get past my bells. These things are loud. Oh my goodness. Can't hardly cut this off. I cannot hardly cut this off. Yes. Awesome and amazing. Awesome and amazing. And I am so glad. Happy Friday, guys. Oh, this has been a long week. It's been a good week, but it's been a long week. I'm trying to get a lot done because uh, I'll be um, I'll be having surgery on my teeth coming up soon, and so I ain't gonna be talking, y'all. <laughs> I ain't gonna be talking, y'all, at all. Oh my goodness, I can't hardly get this off. Let me see. Close. I reside in Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Well, I'm seven B two. I don't know how they got these zones going, cause my zone is seven B two, and I'm in Car I know, right? And I'm in Carolina. Oh, my son said Michigan is five B. Okay, I don't know. That that seems strange. We both on the same. That's a that's a good distance, thank you. That's a real good distance. I cannot get this off of here. I gotta get it off in order to get the other one on. There you go. Nope, not quite. Almost. Are you asking because I'm using these scissors and it's not sharp? There you go. Whew. Goodness gracious alive. I think I should um clean them prior to putting my nice new thing on there. What you guys think? I 
I didn't want to have to buy any brass cleaner just to clean those bells. I was hoping I could find a home solution that would clean them up right nicely. I'm going to have to cut this. Oh, snap. I kind of wanted the rope to be the same size. I think that means I need to measure first. And I need to have it extended some because I'm going to have to take it up. Do something creative with it. Okay. So I'm going to need this amount. I'm going to mm -hmm. see if I can um, get my tape measure out and tape it. Four or five is Michigan stick. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to need about three feet. I just want to make sure I knew how much I needed to cut off. Well, I guess I could have just cut off whatever mm -hmm. amount I want. Nobody mm -hmm. said it had to be long, but that was a nice one. That's the way it came years and years, years and years ago. I don't know, guys. This is going to be pretty when it gets on here. This is going to be pretty. Pretty rope. Again. It's going to be pretty rope again. Yes. So does anybody have any questions for me about my book? About the organization, about the planting, like I can tell y'all something. Now my avocado plant is growing really well out there. I'll be doing another deck check. Um, I'll be doing another deck check this week. Yeah, this week. And I think I'm going to do a complete organization of my seeds also in a video because I want everybody to be able to because something that people can refer to as people start new gardeners come along so I think it would be good to have in my channel as a regular video as well so I'm going to put that up I'm going to put that up as a regular video as well so that people can uh what they call those something forever videos that's what they're called guys did you know that cooking channels are considered as having forever videos and a lot of uh, gardening channels are considered to be um, forever videos. And that means that long after you're, you've stopped or you're not doing anything else, they, those videos will live on and people will continue to watch them. Uh, let me see. Stinky says, um, I must have been on the phone when you spoke of your bells. Oh, okay. You can clean them with a tablespoon of salt and a cup of water. Add flour to create a paste. Add flour to wet mixture until paste forms. Then rub your bells with paste. All right, yes. Because I did not want to buy any brass cleaner. I did not want to buy any brass. I'm tempted to go get that stuff right now. Do it right now. <laughs> mm. I did not want to buy any brass because I don't have any other brass <laughs> to clean besides those bells. Mm. It is not anything that I'm going to be doing after that. After you have cleaned your bills, run water over them, and buff dry until shine again. Oh, I'm excited now. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. I'm going to write that down. See, I have to write this down because you were telling me on a live chat, and I'm not going to go back through this whole live to get this information. So while it's right here, here go my trusty, here go my trusty note cards again. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You are most welcome. My grandparents did the same mission. Oh, I am excited. <laughs> Cause I've been trying to figure something out. Yes, let me see. You said, okay. One tablespoon of salt. Just regular, just regular, regular salt, no, no specific kind, not cold or anything, just regular salt. And one cup of water. Why is it lumpy under here? Oh, I forgot my actual desk pad is under there. One cup of water. Add flour to create a paste. Add flour to create a paste. And then uh, rub the bells, rub the bells with the paste. 
then run water and buff until dry. Rinse with water and buff dry until they shine again. Oh, girl. Mom Ray, we talk about LOL, LOL. <laughs> Oh, she said, see, see, that's why I asked. She says, kosher works better than grain. See, that's why I asked. See, see. Mama Ray Ray probably thought I was asking a crazy question when I said any kind of salt, whatever kind of salt. Let me put on your kosher salt because you know I can have some kosher salt all this cooking I do. Yes, see, that's why I asked. See, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. See, I'm, I'm smart sometimes. <laughs> kosher salt. Works better than grains, but iodine will work. Iodine, iodine will work. It just takes a bit more elbow grease. You know what? <laughs> Maybe I'm not so smart. I didn't think about screenshotting it. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I'm screenshotting it right now. Oh my gosh. I never think about screenshotting anything. That's why she said screenshot and don't write it down. <laughs> Y'all must think I'm crazy. Let me see. Let me write this down too. Yes. No worries. <laughs> Yes, that's amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm excited now. I'm cleaning these bills tonight. It's Friday night too. Anybody got to get up in the room? Yes. You missed me about my bills? Yes. I'm going to put this new rope on them. I just took the old rope off. I don't know if you saw that. Of course, I have to cut this. But I'm going to, it was like this. This is the way it was. And so I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put the new rope on it. But I thought I wanted to clean them first. And do you know my husband was going to give these bells away? Girl, he was getting ready to donate them. I'm like, you want to give them my bells away? I want those bells. He's like, what do you want those bells for? I said, to hang on my door. And I can always know when somebody coming in and coming out. And they don't know the bells on the door. But mostly for my grandbaby right now. But I just like them, period. I like them, I like them, I like them. My Ray Ray, stop laughing at me. My Ray Ray, I'm coming on your live. I'm laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Ray Ray, why are you laughing at me? Why are you laughing at me? And I have to get a schedule, guys. I have to get a schedule for uploading on uh, container crops. Let's see. As Stinky says, if you have city water and are having issues, replace the water mixer with the salt, with the salt, with vinegar. Okay, I do have city water. I wouldn't. I won't know if I'm gonna have an issue with it until I try it. But if it's not, if it's giving me issues, then I'll use vinegar. Yes, you made her night stinky. She did make my night. I got my bells. I got my bells. I got my bells. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Cause I did not want to buy grass cleaner. I didn't because once I use it for these bells, the bass grass cleaner gonna get so old. It's just going to uh, go. Oh, the Joe's not here, Mama Ray Ray. She's gone. She was here early, but she had said bye. She said she had to go. So I know she's not going to speak back. That's why. <laughs> but she did say she didn't leave me running. So she might hop in here and speak to you. You know people be on the roof <laughs> and in the bushes, behind the barn, <laughs> in the outhouse. <laughs> Yes. No chemicals. No, no. Let me see what that's like. No, I have chemicals needed. Yes, I know, right? I don't want chemicals. That's why I kept trying to find something to take care of that worm that I showed you all earlier. Because everybody keeps telling me about these pesticides. See, there she is. I knew it. <laughs> oh, y'all, I just was saying you so. <laughs> I knew it. There she is, Mama Ray Ray. <laughs> she bet I came back for a second shift. I know right when I started talking about you, Mama Ray Ray spoke. 
to you and I said, oh, she's gone. I said, she, so she probably won't speak back because she's gone, uh, Mama Ray Ray. She left earlier. And I said, unless she in the bushes or something, she might hear me and pop back in here. Here you come popping in. <laughs> yes. I'm leaving again. <laughs> Bye, old Joe. <laughs> Major, what did you cook tonight? I know, right? Too funny. I know, right? That's hilarious. What did everybody cook tonight? Man, this water is good. Mm, mm, mm. That water is too good, guys. Too good, too good, too good. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Awesome and amazing. Awesome and amazing. Yes. There you go. She says, too funny. Oh, <laughs> oh y'all thought you was gone. <laughs> I love it. She says, one last thing. I made steak and rice. Ooh, where's my old y'all? Rice, old Joe. Rice, 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 old Joe. <laughs> Guess what, old Joe? I had rice too. I had fried rice today. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I did. It was delicious. Awesome. Yes. They just said nothing yet, Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen. I just got home after a while. Oh, after seven. Okay. Yes. Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen. That's a long name, Mama Ray Ray, but it's good. It's a good name. It's a good name. I like that. It indicates it indicates what you do. Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. There she is again. <laughs> I know, right? I shouldn't be eating it. You know I love me some fried rice, chef. I know you do. And I had some. It was delicious. Yes. Pam, did you cook tonight? No, ma'am. I cooked this morning. <laughs> I did. I, I cooked dinner at about 8 a.m. <laughs> I cooked dinner about 8 o'clock in the morning. I, mean, I did that all week. I cooked all week, but I cooked early in the morning. All week. I cooked breakfast and dinner at the same time. All week long. Cause that's what I was doing, trying to get my videos done. So that was an easy way for me to do it. And I'm like, okay, well, the food will be there. Just because I cook it, don't mean we have to eat it at 8 a.m. Yes. She's back in. She, I know, I saw her. <laughs> I saw her. <laughs> oh, John, you can't leave. <laughs> you got old oh, Joe stuck. She keep coming back in. I know, right? Y'all got me cracking up. Yes. I should do something like this on my Chef and More Lives. I should do something like this where I'm doing something on my desk. Because I like the way it looks. Because it's kind of, I'm kind of like off into the dark and it's so well lit on my door, on my door, on my desk. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mama Ray Ray, I have to look up that book again. I need to look I just saw it over there. I'm gonna look up that information about that book and give that to you too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mama Ray Ray, what did you cook? What did you cook, Mama Ray Ray? Asking us what we cook. What you cook? Mm. I am just so glad it's Friday, guys. Yes, Mom Ray Ray, did you hear me? What did you put? Or did you cook, I should say? More than saying, what did you cook, I should say, did you cook? Thank you, now everyone knows what I do. Thank you. Now everyone knows what I do. Are you talking about the Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen part? The part in the kitchen part? Yes, they do. And I like that better because before it's like Mama Ray Ray. Mama Ray Ray could do it. Mama Ray Ray might be skating or something. It could be anything. It could be anything. Vlogging. It could be anything, but you're right. Everybody knows you cook. Mm-hmm. 
What did you cook today? Did you cook today? Or did you put that sandwich up today? Did you post that video sandwich? Was that today? Um, you know I'm, I'm off on my times. <laughs> I can't remember if that was today. Did you post that this morning? Or was that yesterday evening you posted the, the Monte Carlo? I can't tell. Well, I can't see it right now. Yes, I need to, I'll have to water that. Clean this. And finish editing my videos tonight. Cause I need, I'm trying to get them off. I'm trying to do too much. I won't be doing, I don't think I'll be doing any videos tomorrow. Cause tomorrow is going to be my hair wash day. And that is a whole entire day pretty much. And since I will be washing my hair, I, I won't be doing any videos. But then Sunday I'm going to try to knock out two. I'm trying to get up at least six to 10 up ahead of what I'm doing every day. Um, so far I am kind of like two ahead if I get two more done then I will be just two ahead I'm trying to get six to ten ahead but I have to keep I have to keep going but I have so much stuff that I want to cook and that I need to cook but we can't eat it as fast as I would like to go and cook it oh you didn't cook anything Nothing today, Mama Ray. Okay. All right, that's different for you. You always cooking something good over there. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, guys, so I planted my seeds for the fall planting, and I love this book. I might as well go ahead and put some of these seeds in here while I'm sitting here and finishing up this live. That way I don't have to do it later. I'm not going to put them in here any necessary other kind of way. I want the four that I just planted, though. I'm going to put those together. And I'm going to put these at the end because I just planted these. And I want them to all be together. I want them to all be together. That way I know these are the ones that are indoors. So you guys need to get to find your old... Um, and they should be... You know what? You can find even brand new ones that like the Goodwill for a dollar, dollar ninety nine because they're not so popular anymore with all the um, digital, with all the digital photos and things. These just aren't that popular anymore. Yes, I'm gonna have to go back and take the ones that I've opened up up. Now I can go back to the front. You guys, don't forget to leave me a comment. I'm having a giveaway. Everybody that's in the live, leave me a comment uh, on this video once it indexes. Because next week, I will be pulling, uh, having a random drawing. I will be having a random drawing. These are radishes. Oh, I got three things of radish. Three things of radish. Perfect. Yes. Where am I for? Oh, let me see. Oh, I'm going to let my shot go. Let's see, my Raymond said, I'm so hungry right now. Have you haven't eaten today either? Yes, I am totally converting an old album to a seed index. I love that idea. Thank you. I do too. I do too. Especially, don't forget to get you some index for anything. Oh, cheap. Like you said, an old album. A dollar for some index for it at the Dollar Tree. So that you can write down stuff on it. I'm glad I can help somebody. I love that. And I can offer up something to help somebody. 
Because that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And I don't know if this album is going to be big enough for all the seeds I have over here. But I'm planning on picking me up a... I'm planning on picking me up a larger one. And when you fill one up, you know, you can always just get another one. That's the thing about it. And then if you have enough, you can have one for fruits and one for vegetables. If you have enough seeds like that. And this one, I'll put that upside down. This one, I have two of these, so I'm going to put these together. I'm going to put these together. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It helps a lot. It helps a lot to be organized. I'm trying to put all the ones that I have a lot of packets for together. I want to just say these pumpkins because next year I'm growing some pumpkins. Next year I'm growing some pumpkins. Yes, I am. True of the true. Dang, now I'm hungry. I know, right? <laughs> yes. It requires consistent watering and blooming and producing fruit. Deep soaking are better than light sprinkles. Place straw on the pumpkins. As they develop, remove all but one fruit from the vine to grow a larger pumpkin. Wow. But that one doesn't say when to plant. That's what I'm looking for. When to plant. Yes, contain bush plant. Will save you space and deliver excellent yields, carving pumpkins right on time. For Halloween fun, so an average of soil host seeds of corn to cover firmly. It doesn't say when. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. March. Oh, it says March. It says March through May and July through August. Huh. Wow, how long to, how long to, um, 110 days to harvest, 30, 60, 90, so if I'm planning it now, August, September, October, no, that's not good, I don't believe that package, <laughs> there go my GPS, I don't believe the package, I do not believe the package. Yes. Well, these are two different kinds. I was very put them all in the same thing. This little box of goobers is not coming. <laughs> oh my god, not cutting it anymore. Ella, seriously though, I hear you. I know, right? 
But I was fortunate enough to eat before I came on live, guys. Yeah, it's not cutting. We know you meant cutting it. <laughs> I ate before I did this, guys. Ooh, I do got some seeds still in here. Let me see. Green Organic was right to tape them back down. I'm going to get some tape down. That's going to be part of what I do on Sunday or whenever. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm doing it. Yep, I do have some. Tomorrow I'm doing my hair. Since it's hair day, I won't be doing anything on camera. <laughs> I won't be doing anything on camera. And since I won't be doing anything on camera. Let's see. That'll be a good day for me to do stuff like, you know, finishing, finishing the organizing and stuff. Who likes okra? Who likes okra? Anybody in the stream like okra? So see, it's very intimate. You directly move on the full soil after the process process so and warm one, then, then to one plant. These kind. Anybody like okra? Anybody like okra? I want to know if anybody out there likes okra. Does anyone like okra? Come on, y'all. Who like okra? Let me see. Fried only. Fried only. You want some okra seeds? Since you're the only one that answered, stinky. <laughs> Do you want some okra seeds? You want some okra seeds, stinky? Yes. Do you want some okra seeds? Hey, hamburger and french fries sound nice, but it's too late. <laughs> Mama Ray Ray, anything sound nice around there. I'm I'm going to do for stinky, stinky, stinky. Do you want some okra seeds? Do you want some okra seeds? Let me know. Let me know. Cause I do not like okra. I don't even know why. That that thing these hopped in my basket by mistake. I ain't bought no okra. I don't want no parts of no okra. The only way I want okra is a just a teeny teeny bit in some gumbo. Teeny teeny bit. I don't want okra. I don't want to fry. I don't want it. No kind of way. So let me know. If you want those seeds. And I got this here. I don't know what this is. She says, thank you. That would be awesome. However, I just got mine at the post today. All right. Because I got to get these to somebody. I was going to send them to you. If you want me to send them to you, all I got to do is put an envelope stick stamp on it. Let me know. Because I'm not going to use them. And this, I don't even know what this is. Mama Ray Ray, you probably know what this is. Or somebody might know what this is. I have no no idea. This is, I can't even pronounce this. Kohlrabi? 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 I don't know what that is. It is lovely fried and then dip in tapioca. That's not what that says. Oh, okay. I don't know what tapatio is either. Come on now. Mama Ray Ray raising your hand. What you raise you have? Mama Ray Ray, do you want this okra? Somebody got to take this okra. <laughs> it's bad luck for me to have this okra. And what is this Calabri? What does it taste like? What is it? This is another something. I don't know how it got in my basket. I don't even like the way this looks on the picture. Oh, the hot sauce. <laughs> yes, the hot sauce. Okay. <laughs> We don't have that hot sauce here, but I've heard of it. And we, we don't have a lot of stuff here. Anybody know what kohlrabi tastes like? 
I've never had kohlrabi either. I don't think I'll, I don't like the way this looks. I don't think I would plant it because it looks scary to me. It looks scary. Anybody want it? It's organic. <laughs> I'm trying to give away stuff. You are making me hungry, stinky photo ranch. I know, right? I am totally <laughs> It is really wild and ugly. You want it on the job? <laughs> on the job, you want? I want this. Yes. Do you want it on the job? Look at old Joe be swooping back in. <laughs> oh, it's like a wild cabbage. It looks like a wild cabbage. It's scary. All right, old Joe, it's on the way. <laughs> Super as post office open Monday, it's gonna be on the way. Sitting this aside, just go to old Joe. That's scary, old Joe. <laughs> old Joe says, send it to me. I'm back. I'm gonna send it to you as soon as the post office open Monday morning. <laughs> no, oh snap! I can put it in the mail tomorrow. The post office open tomorrow. I'm gonna stick it. Go out there and stick it in my mailbox. Yes. Yeah, I'm planting it too. Uh-huh. You can take a picture of it when it grow. I don't want no parts. This is scary looking. Do you eat the purple part too? Look at this. Aren't you scared? <laughs> I have to plant things in a Nothing is scary. <laughs> How would you pick it? I would be scared to go out there and pick it. I'm already jumping from the stuff I got out there and I only had to <laughs> tomato or strawberry. Every time the wind blows and the plants move, I <laughs> every time the wind blows and the plants move, I jump. <laughs> tomatoes okay they are growing so big and so much it's getting scary <laughs> oh. oh my god yes I didn't say I eat it but I <laughs> is that something that Chinese put <laughs> This is Ola Joe's. This is right over there. Now, Ola Joe, you want the okra too? Because this got to go. <laughs> I don't want no okra nowhere near me. I don't like okra. Ola Joe, you want the okra too? <laughs> I can put the okra. Ola Joe getting the okra too. <laughs> what else I got in here? I'm going to send it all away. Oh my God. I'm gonna send it all away. Oh, just as I love okra. Well, you get the okra too, dude. I was like, I don't want no okra. Okra's nasty. <laughs> Even if it's fried. Oh, it's a smithereens. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I can't eat nothing that ain't looking good now. 
I came back in the nick of time. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes. Now, I like these. Yay. I like these. I'm keeping these. <laughs> these are good. These are turnips. Turnip box. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess I say she's crazy. <laughs> Indeed, LOL. <laughs> I love okra, but I'm not going to plant any. Come on, Mama Ray Ray. If you cook, you got to plant food so that you can eat always. If I can learn to plant, you can learn to plant. I, I haven't successfully harvested anything yet. Chef, please send me the ones you don't want, okay? I will plant them. I ate turnips. My grandmother used to make them. I like turnips, but I am going to send you all the other stuff I don't want. We got some stuff in here. Yes, ma'am. I got to see what else I'm scared of. <laughs> yes, I said scary. <laughs> scared of what? Y'all never heard of the story when I was a little girl that I couldn't hardly go outside because of the, the flowers around the side of the house. And I swore they were going to eat me. I thought they were going to eat me. Y'all can ask my sister. She'll tell you. She, oh, my God. Next time I'm in, she in my live, I'm going to have her tell y'all about the plants. I thought the, the flowers was going to eat me. And I would not go around there. I would cry, cry, cry. That's the only time I did. I take that back. I cried. I guess, ma'am, I cried if I had to go around the side of the house when I was a little girl. That's the only time I cried. Yes. That looks like Cardi's Eat Purple Witch. <laughs> Come on now. We ain't talking about nobody up in here. We ain't talking about nobody up in here, girl. We ain't burning no bridges up here on my line. We, you, we'll talk about somebody on your line. Let me see. I think those are the only two I have off the job. Oh. Wait a minute. I knew I had more seeds than that. <laughs> I think you said hi, hi. I know, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I ain't talking about nobody. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, it just says, okay, chef. Mm -hmm. Yes. You sure did come back in the nick of time. Because I didn't know what I was going to do with those. I'm telling you, that karabi is scary. And I don't want no parts of it. None whatsoever. Ooh, I drank two bottles of water since I've been on that. I feel like I need to go get a third. The strawberries I have out there, I bought a plant, and I've been growing those from plants, but if they don't produce soon, I'm going to dig them up next year. If they don't produce this year, because they're not producing so far, if they don't produce next year, this year, I'm going to dig them up and start over again, raw or cooked. All I forgot to say that, Chef. Raw or cooked. I'm not eating that stuff raw. I'm not eating it cooked either. Mm -mm. <laughs> and you know what? I bet it's got some good health benefits too, because it's ugly enough to have some. It is ugly enough to have some fantastic uh I thought I had some more peppers. It's ugly enough to have some fantastic properties. It really is. It does. I figured. Because this is ugly enough too. But that's just scary, all of that. I can't even eat nothing too scary. The 
see. It's the cabbage cousin, for real. Stevie says, I love seeing this seed sharing. There should be more of it. Yes, it should be. She, that's a good thing to do, seed exchange. Mm-hmm, that's a good thing to do. Do a seed exchange live. Anybody that's got seeds they don't want, can send them to somebody else. If somebody else don't have some of them, they can just send them to them. That's a good one. That's a good one. I might have to start doing a seed exchange on my on my live. Yes. Do a container crop seed exchange live. Exchange seeds that you don't want. And no cost. Nobody charge anybody anything. Just if you have something you don't like or you don't want. Or maybe this doesn't grow in your area. Because there are some things that just don't grow well in one area but may grow well in another area. Yeah, that's a great idea. It is stinky butter. Oh, we shall. Oh, we shall what? Oh, we shall what, Mama Ray Ray? Oh, we shall what, Mama Ray Ray? Yes, that is. That is, that is, that is. Because the truth of the matter is, I am not planting that okra. I don't like it that well. And the other one is scary looking to me. It's like, no. <laughs> all right, all right, have a great night, Uncle Joe, thank you. Yes. Stinky says, I am humble, thank you, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, I need to put these in here. Cantaloupe, guys. I'll be planting this next year. I'm going to, all the things that I didn't plant this year, I'm going to make sure I get on time, you know, when I need to plant it so I can be right on time for it. And see, this book is, is getting kind of fat, so it tells me I need a bigger book, but this is what I had on hand. It says I had it on hand. I decided I was going to go ahead and use it, and I will get me a bigger one. I think I have a bigger one, but I have to find it <coughs> somewhere that I'm not using. Yes, 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 yes. It just says Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen. Did you see my comment? I'm in Maryland. Okay. We got Maryland in the house, East Coast. Lots of cucumbers. And see, guys, I've been sitting here and I've been organizing my seeds with you guys. And out of all those seeds, these are the only ones I still have left to go. That's how quick it went. And now they're all in the book. They're all they're all in the book. They're all being organized. I'm glad I still have some basil to plant. I have one that's unopening some in here that I still have to plant because that little worm thing is really eating on my basil and I love basil and it was growing so, so good. Here's another. I think this is not even the one I planted. I don't think anything else is in here. That is so awesome, Chef. Thank you so much, Midget. Thank you. I'm going to do a video. I'm putting these in here, but I'm going to take them back out. And I'm going to, first, I'm going to see if I can find my larger book. Uh, or I might stop by Goodwill and see if I can pick one up, a larger one uh, for, for it. And I'm going to actually post a video 
I'm going to do the whole thing on the video because that's a forever video for real. People will go back and people who are new to gardening, they just start gardening. It's something they can reference, like how to organize your seeds. Because that was the first thing I wanted. I'm like, okay, I got all these seeds. Do I just leave them in a bag and scramble through them every time I get ready to plant? Because that can take up some time just there. And I'm like, I like to condense my time. I like to condense it. Oh, more cucumbers. These are the ones I have out there now. Okay. What's this chart? I had that last year. It did not do well. That's another thing I learned. When you run, when you use up your seeds in your packet, throw the packet away if you don't have it planted. There's nothing in here. There's no sense in me keeping it. That's just trash. Keeping old empty packs. Trash. And deal. Now, all those seeds you guys saw me have, I still have uh, empty spots in this book. And this is a small book. That just goes to show you I got quite a few empty spots. And that's it. Just an empty box in there. And so I only have a few packs left. I was able to get all those seeds that you all saw me having spread all over this table. This table is full of seeds. I was able to get them all in this small book. So can you imagine? <coughs> Can you imagine what a large book would do? A large book would be wonderful. Yes. Let's see. Mitch says, can I see what that oregano looks like? Yes. Oregano. Oregano. <laughs> she said, can I see what the oregano looks like? What I do with it? Here you go. I think this is it. Oh, 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 yes, you can. Hi, Zach. Can you see it? To see it, minute. Oh, good. Come on, Paul. There you go. And I was wondering, I've been looking at a lot of people's videos on a lot of different channels, people that have been gardening for years and everything. And I saw nobody, Green Organic Love, she was the only one that I saw that had any kind of organization to her seeds. And she had, like, it looked like, I can't say for sure, it wasn't a video, it was just in one of her videos, 
<clears throat> it looked like she had the kind of rack that they typically have in the stores where you just sit the packets in the back. So that's another good, that was another good way. I don't know if she had it outdoors or indoors, but that was another good way to, you know, kind of organize. Did you say Mama Ray Ray? I have not seen the video, but I am adding to my watch list. Oh, okay, I will be. Yes, yes. And so she was the only one that I saw remotely. I see nobody else with any video on organizing your seeds and things like that. And as time goes on, you get so many. And what I've learned to do is, I decided, I decided uh, that each year now, when I see seeds on sale, I'm gonna just buy them. You know, even like I bought those two, and I don't really care for them or anything. You know, I'm just gonna buy seeds when I see them on sale. I'm just gonna buy them. Eventually, I'm gonna have a ton of seeds. But I like that seed exchange, and that's what I like to give them away. And when you buy them on sale, like they put for fifty cents, that's that's a great thing. You know, I want to see that sandwich. Lol. Oh, <laughs> Midget says one of my employees bought a oregano plant to work for someone, but it looks different than that one. Okay, it might be a different variety too. Oh, Stinky Ranch, I will see you tonight also. <laughs> yes. I think I had another watermelon when I put them here. Here it is. That's the one I have out there now. And since this is lettuce, I'm going to put it up here with the lettuce. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The different varieties do have leaves. Yes. I'm getting sleepy. Mama Ray Ray, you hungry and sleepy. I'll put that in the back because that's the one I was using. I wanted to make sure I kept it separate. Yes. some seeds. Yes, I did. This was the way I was organizing. This is a very small, this was a recipe book, but the concept is for a photo album, Little Bit Elijah, to be able to put your seeds all in one spot, in one thing. And uh, so I'm going to get a larger one. This is just something I had on hand to show you guys, to show you guys. I need to stay up until 11. Why, Mama Ray Ray? Why do you need to stay up till 11? Why can't you take a nap when you can hold me way back? And wake back up. Why, Mama Ray Ray? Mama Ray Ray, why? Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. This has been a good live, guys. A good live. I'm going to stay on here a little bit longer so I can even out my time. And yes, this has been an awesome and amazing live. Hey, little bit. Hey, little bit. Hey, little bit. Yes. Yes. Me too, little bit. You know, I was on live yesterday. I think you came in the live yesterday. I was on live yesterday on my other channel. That was the first time in August I had been live. I haven't been going live that much. I've been trying to work on videos. Between working on videos, you know what? Once I started being putting them up consistently over there, which is now something I have to concentrate on over here, is getting up videos at least weekly. I think I may do weekly over here. I'd like to do twice a week, but I don't know. 
I don't know if that one will run into an issue uh, over here, but I'm going to try to do twice a week because I'm doing three days over there. Now, that will be a whole full five week, five days if I do two over here. Yes, it's hard. It is. It is to do the lives and produce videos because you have to edit them. But I'm getting better at my editing. I notice it's not taking me as long. I'm either getting better at when I'm actually doing the video so I have less to edit because I have less mistakes, less stuff to take out. I don't know if that's it or if I'm getting just getting better at editing in general. Yes, yes, I really enjoyed this live. I love gardening, but living in this apartment don't allow me to do so. Yes, it gets hard. It gets hard if you're in an apartment. You need that, that outdoor space. You need some kind of outdoor space. Do they have community gardens where you are, uh, Midget? Because that's a thought if they do. I might talk some of these. I had all those seeds and all these plastic bags. Make sure I'm not leaving anything out. Yes. Let me see. Yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, those people were mad I was getting for 50 cents. Like this, I don't know if y'all can see that, but this one was $2.88. $2.88. And they just gave me some. The lady got upset because I told her that they were 50 cents. And I said, well, you know, you can go back there and check and I'll walk back there with you. Because when they say they go price check, I don't leave it up to them because I have seen people go do price check, change the price on it in the store. The store people change the price on it and then come tell you this is the price. No, we're going back there together. We are going back there together. I thought about that too, but not near me, so I didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, it has to. It's just not near you. It defeats the purpose. Because it's something you have to check on all the time. You have to tend to it constantly, so it needs to be, you know, really, really close. It needs to be really close. Yes. Awesome and amazing. Awesome and amazing. Yes, yes, yes. So I get to, I get to do my bells tonight. I'm going to either, I don't know, if I don't finish editing, I don't have to finish editing my video today. I can finish it in the morning because on hair wash day, I have so many times I have to let this sit in my hair and I have to let that sit in my hair. And so I can't do very much, can't go anywhere, so that's a good time for, to edit. And then, I don't know, for you all who came in came in later, I don't know if you saw my book. This is, if you guys can get your hands, if you're, if you're gardening in containers of any kind, you can get your hands on this book. This book is a wealth of knowledge. It has helped me so much. It says, grow all you can eat in three square feet. So, you know, that just shows you, you don't have to have a lot of space. And they got all these different ideas in here about how to do this, um, kind of garden and how to do, set it up, different ways to set it up. Right, it, is it too late to plant tomatoes? No, but it, it's mostly going to depend on your zone. What, uh, where, what state are you in? What state are you in a little bit? If you're in one of those states where it's going to get really cold quick and it's going to be have like harsh winters and it may be too late because by the time it grow but they grow pretty fast they grow pretty fast but i did start mine indoors two to three weeks before i put them out kentucky that's me but um i don't know you probably do have some pretty pretty rough winters um 
if you try it, I would try it like right now, right now. Um, and you might have, but I would only do one. I wouldn't do a bunch because it is late in the season. You don't know if it's going to work. But you should be able to harvest some right before you get guys get like the first frost. You should be able to harvest some by then. That's what I would think. Yeah, I think it, that um, I think you should give it a shot. I don't think it's too late. I'd be trying to say, you know. I understand some things are cool weather, some things thrive in the heat, and so you try to plant accordingly. The stuff like tomatoes, I think I would just go on one plant just to see. Oh, you buffering them away, Ray? Ray? You buffering them away, Ray? Wow. I didn't know you were buffering. Uh, anybody else buffering? Anybody else buffering? Is that what that is? What, the circus Mama Ray Ray put in there? Yeah, that means if somebody's buffering. I love off and on. I have off on. I have off slash on. Are you talking about the, the keep the mosquitoes away off? You are buffering, Chef. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mine is fine, mine is fine. Stinky Potter says buffering. Okay. Well, I guess that means it's time for me to go. I was trying to wait until it got to two and a half hours. I'm almost there. I need three more minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to hang in here for about three more minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and end it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here for about three more minutes, guys. Then I'm going to go ahead and end the live. I think it's been a very good live. Three more minutes. It'll be two two hours and thirty minutes. So I'm trying to get. I'm at two hours and twenty seven minutes. So I'm gonna just wait and get to the two hours and thirty minutes. Yes. So I thank everybody for coming and hanging out with me today. I do want to share this information with you guys. I'm so glad. Yes. Think of says, I can dig it, no worries, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. So I hope you guys got something out of this, especially this. This is just amazing. You know, like I said, I need a bigger book, but this is just what I had on my hands, so I used it for a demonstration. But I'm going to find me a bigger book. And not a scrapbook, guys. Not a scrapbook. We do. It has to have photo album. It has to have. And don't get the photo. Oh, do not get the photo albums. Some photo albums have the um, little sleeves. They're like sticky, and you pull them up, and you can insert the picture in it and lay back down. Don't get that kind. That's not gonna work because the seed packets are not flat and even. You need the ones with the slits. The slips, not the slits. The slips. You need the rolls with the slips. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see. My phone's always slower than my tablet. Stinky says, thank you so much for sharing your book idea. It's truly good. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging in with me, hanging in with me. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I appreciate it, Stinky. Yes. You probably got all your hours tonight and said you have 1,600 watches. Really? you kidding me. I don't see that on my side. 
Midget, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, that would be amazing. God is good, so I can't wait to get on this Friday, so I don't know if I would even see anything until like Monday, but I hope it indexes. Wow. Midget, really? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. That would be amazing. Well, I was over, I was right at half, halfway, a little bit over halfway there already. I was looking over. That's why y'all been seeing me a little bit live more over here lately. I've been doing lives in the garden, lives outside. Remember the other day I did this? I was on live six hours the last time. Yes, thank you, says Fred. Yes, indeed. Yes. All right, Mama Ray Ray, good night. I am at that time. I saw it on nine. I should have took a picture on my... Oh, wow, that would have been awesome because I would have liked to have that just to have it. I've never had that many before. Wow, that would have been amazing. A screenshot. <laughs> Yes. Well, okay, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I'll see y'all next time.